Greetings and welcome to another intriguing episode on our channel. Today, we are unraveling the mystery of a common medical condition that often raises eyebrows, hematomas. Fear not, we aim to simplify and clarify everything you need to know about this frequently encountered yet regularly misapprehended medical phenomenon. Starting with the basics, what on earth is a hematoma? In simple terms, a hematoma is a localized accumulation of blood outside the blood vessels. This typically transpires due to an injury or trauma causing blood vessels to rupture, which subsequently leads to the accumulation and clotting of blood beneath the skin or within body tissues. Hematomas can originate from a diverse range of situations such as sports-related injuries, accidental falls, post-surgical complications, or even certain medical conditions that interfere with normal blood clotting. Recognizing the cause is a fundamental step in both the prevention and treatment of hematomas. There exist various types of hematomas, each characterized by its unique features and areas of occurrence. Subdermal hematomas occur beneath the skin, while subungual hematomas are found beneath the nails. Intracranial hematomas located within the skull are particularly serious and demand immediate medical attention. Wondering how to identify if you have a hematoma? The symptoms can vary significantly based on the location and severity of the hematoma. Common indicators include swelling, pain, skin discoloration akin to a bruise, and in some instances, restricted mobility or function of the affected area. All right, so you've identified a hematoma. What's next? The course of treatment typically involves the RICE protocol, rest, ice application, compression, and elevation. However, in scenarios involving larger or internal hematomas, medical intervention may be necessary. Always seek professional medical advice for an accurate assessment and appropriate treatment. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Taking precautionary measures, especially in high-risk situations such as sports activities or physically demanding jobs, can substantially lower the risk of developing a hematoma. In summary, while the term hematoma might induce a twinge of apprehension, these are quite common and generally manageable. Gaining a thorough understanding of the causes, symptoms, and treatment options can arm you with the knowledge to handle this condition effectively. Remember, always seek professional medical advice if you suspect a hematoma or experience any worrying symptoms. And with that, we conclude today's video. If you found this information beneficial, remember to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more insightful content. We welcome your questions or personal experiences with hematomas in the comment section below. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.